Welcome to Binary Options 304 Stochastic Oscillator. This is the fourth video in our Binary Options 300 series brought to you by binaryoptions.net.au. This video is slightly different from previous videos in the sense that I've come straight to a price chart. The reason for this, I thought best to give you a hands-on demonstration of the stochastic indicator rather than going through some slides. So this is the Australian dollar, US dollar. It's a four hour chart. And down the bottom here, I have the stochastic. The stochastic is set at the default settings of 14, 3, 1. If you load the stochastic indicator onto your price chart, it's probably set at those settings already as this is the default setting 14 3 and 1 if it's not you can soon change it to that default setting now how the stochastic indicator works is we have a gauge to the right here from 0 to 100 when the stochastic lines are above 80 so above this purple channel that is a signal that markets are overbought. So the indicator signals overbought markets. It also signals oversold markets when these lines fall below the purple channel, which is below 20 on the gauge. So here we have overbought conditions, and down here we have oversold conditions. We're currently in oversold. We have oversold here, overbought, and oversold. Now, why is it important that the stochastic signals overbought and oversold markets? If a market is overbought, it can fall on the downside. If a market is oversold, it can go on the upside. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how to trade with the stochastic indicator on this Australian dollar, US dollar price chart. It's a four hour chart, and we're going to use a bit of multiple time frame analysis also as even though we are analyzing the four hour chart I will be zooming in to the one hour chart to actually place the binary option position so what we're going to do is look for overbought and oversold conditions and then we're going to look for a bearish candle on the four hour chart to confirm with the stochastic so if the stochastic is showing over bought, then we're looking for bearish engulfing candles. If the stochastic is showing oversold, we're looking for bullish engulfing candles. So let's just start here where the stochastic is clearly showing overbought markets. So here to here. So let's look at this price data on our chart, on the four hour chart. We have a bearish engulfing here. This is exactly what we are looking for. It's on the 8th of April and it closed at one o'clock. So we're now going to go to the one hour chart and we're going to look for either a bearish pin bar or bearish engulfing. It's the 8th of April, one o'clock. So right here, this candle closed here, or the four hour candle closed right here. We have a doji. We could have taken that, but ideally I'm looking for bearish pin bars or bearish engulfing candles. And that's the signal we're looking for there. Bearish engulfing, price goes on the downside. So we're looking to trade an hour expiry. We could have placed a put there and made a win. Nice easy win. Let's go back to the four hour chart. Let's go back to the area of overbought markets. So we've had one bearish engulfing, which was here. We have another here, slightly engulfing. Let's zoom in a bit. You'll see that it's an engulfing candle. So that's the 9th of April, it's the day after, and that closed at one o'clock also. So let's go to our hourly chart. 9th of April, 1 o'clock. Okay, so the candle closed here. 
And straight away we have this bearish engulfing we could have placed a put there. And you'll notice that price, only ever so slightly, but price fell on the downside. So we would have placed our put here, price went on the downside, and we've made another win. Let's go back to the four hour chart. See if there are any more signals. Okay, we have another bearish engulfing here. Is the stochastic still showing over bought? I believe it is. Yep, over bought. So let's go to our one hour chart. This was the 10th of April and once again finished at one o'clock. Three days all at one o'clock. Seventh of April, one o'clock. Okay, so the candle finished here. We have a bearish pin bar. It's not the most obvious pin bar, but there's a pin bar there. So we could have placed a put and price came on the downside. If we miss that and continue to wait, we have a bearish engulfing here. And then price fell on the downside so either one of those signals would have led to a win so three days all at one o'clock and three wins so here here and here or here nice easy trading strategy that's how you use the stochastic it signals overbought and oversold thank you for watching